now we shall be moving ahead to the condition condition means what are the favorable conditions during which two atoms favor ionic bonding so we shall be dealing now condition for ionic bonding now we shall be learning this that between two atoms an ionic bond can only be formed when one atom has a tendency to lose electron while the other has a tendency to gain electron so the very first condition is that one atom should have tendency to undergo the loss of electron while the other should have a tendency to gain electrons so it is now very clear that if an atom undergo the loss of electron that means it should be a metal and whenever an atom accepts electron then it has a non metallic behavior so it could be concluded that between metal and non metal we can have ionic bonding now this two both the points they are correlated to each other both of them are supporting each other that the very first condition for ionic bonding is that an atom should possess a tendency to undergo the loss of electron and the other atom should have a tendency to gain electron which is possible when one of the atom is metal and other is non metal because i think from childhood we have been studying that metals are those which undergo the loss of electron and non metals undergo the gain of electrons so these are the two basic conditions one one of the atom should undergo the loss of electron other should undergo the gain of electron means one should be metal and other should be non metal now let us see that what are the process involved during ionic bonding so the very first thing as already discussed in the definition part that in ionic bonding metal undergo the loss of electrons due to which they become mn plus here m is representing a metal metals should undergo the loss of electron during ionic bonding so metal after loss of n electrons it will convert into mn positive why i am writing mn positive because after the loss of n electrons n positive charge that is n protons will be greater than electrons so the metal will have a charge equal to mn positive now this positively charged cation positively charged metal will be called as a cation so after the loss of electron from metal when it becomes positively charged the positively charged part of the metal will be called as now after the loss of electron from metal it will be added to non metal let's say the non metal is n now when n electrons are added to the non metal it will be represented as n n negative why we are writing n n negative because here n electrons will be greater will be more as compared to protons so n negative charge will be present on the non metal now after the gain of electron this charged non metal will be called as anion here we are writing n for non metal so these are the things which we observe in case of ionic bonding first when one atom has a tendency to undergo the loss of electron and other has a tendency to undergo the gain of electron means when one of the atom is metallic other is non metallic then in that case we shall be having an anionic bonding now metal after the loss of electron will be converted into a positively charged metal which we call as cation similarly non metal after the gain of electron from the metal it will be converted into a negatively charged non metal whom we call as anion so basically during ionic bonding cations and anions are formed now if we come to a question that what should be the force between two atoms when they are held to each other through ionic bonding so hope it's not a difficult question as we are observing here that during ionic bonding the metal converts to cation after the loss of electron and the non metal becomes anion after the gain of electron that means cation will become positively charged anion will be negatively charged so between a positive and negative charge it is clear that there will be presence of ionic force why we are calling it as ionic force because it is a force as already we have dealt that bond is basically a force so here in ionic bonding the force or the interaction 
is between a positive charge and a negative charge. That means between two charged particles which are oppositely charged to each other. So, it is obvious that the bond between two will be called as ionic force or we can call the same force as electrostatic coulombic force. So, in ionic bonding the force between the cation and anion will be ionic force or we can call the same force as electrostatic coulombic force. So, these are the definitions and the conditions required for ionic bonding.